Man, all that training to be a star kid again, now there's nothing to do. I love you, I haven't seen you. 40 million channels, and still nothing on. Hey! Who? What? Huh? Popcorn's done. That's not the microwave. That's the radar. It's picked up something. Hey, out of my way! I can't, you're in my way! No, you're in my way! Getting squashed in here! Should've made a wider door! There's something coming this way! No, wait! There's four of them! And they look real close! Like, what is it? I don't know! I think we're going to be invaded by blobs! Put it on the telescope view. Okay. Um... Uh... Hmm... It's that button right there. Done it! Looks like spaceships or something. Are we, like, expecting company today? Maybe it's all our fans. I know you're out there. Well, I'm not expecting anyone. And they're not on any known space path. You think we should go and find out what's going on? Yeah, I'll go. I've been practicing piloting my sister's ship and I've gotten pretty good at it. Is it okay if I borrow your ship to go check out what's going on? Yes, alright. Just try to leave it in one piece when you're done. Okay? <laughs> Can I come too? Please? Can I? Can I? Can I come and help? I don't know. It could be really dangerous. We don't know what's out there. They could have like laser cannons or something ready to shoot us down. Oh, come on! Please! Okay, okay. Just try to stay out of trouble. I just can't say no to you when you do that. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Knew I forgot something. Good thing I can do it from in here. Almost there. Better lower the magnetic landing pads. Uh-oh. Oh man, this is not good. What's happening? We're crashing, that's what's happening. I guess that other ship has its own gravity and putting the magnetic pads down is like pulling us in even more. Well, do something! I can't, it won't respond. The magnetic force is way too strong, it's holding them out. Hold on, man! Like... Ow. Your sister's not going to like this. Hi, Clem. Thought I'd find you up here. Oh, Jane. Hi. What do you mean you thought you'd find me up here? Well, just lately, this is where you've always been. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a bit homesick, I guess. It's just... well, look out there, Jane, and tell me what you see. Space? Yes, Jane, that's just it. Space. Nothing but space. No alien wars going on. No stuff being sucked into a black hole. No supernovas exploding. Nothing. And definitely no sign of the new planet we're going to live on. Wish I'd never come on this stupid trip. 
But we had to go, Clem. You know how bad things got back on Earth. We'd probably be dead if we'd stayed. Well, I'd be a lot happier. Come on, Clem. This isn't the Clem I know. The Clem I know wouldn't be all whiny like this. Whatever happened to that Clem? Well, I guess he got to stay behind. I mean, at first it was kind of exciting, you know, going to another planet to live on, but I thought by now we'd see at least something out there. And there's nothing. Well, they did say it would take about five years to get there, and we've only been out here five months. Five months? We've been out here for five years! Um, no, just five months. Well, it feels like longer. Well, at least when they made these ships, they made the inside of it look like Earth, you know, so we wouldn't miss it. And it doesn't change the fact that we're still stuck out here in deep space. Are you ever going to cheer up, or are you going to stay mopey like this? Nope, and yup. I can't stand much more of this. I'm going to the arcade with the others. Wanna come? Nah. I think I'll just stay up here, looking out into space, like I always do. Well, okay, well, you know where I'll be if you need me. Oh, Jane, turn around, quick! Something's out there! Huh? Look! Oh, I don't see anything. Oh, never mind. Okay, well, I'm going now. Uh, Jane, it's back! Quick, turn around! You saw it that time, right? Uh, no? Jane, there was someone out there! Oh, you mean like someone in a spacesuit? Um, no, he didn't have a spacesuit on. He looked more like, well, an alien! Oh, I get it! You're seeing little green men now! You're going space crazy! Jane, I'm serious! There was an alien out there and he waved to me! And besides, he wasn't green, he was blue! Yeah, I think you're going space crazy! You sure you don't want to come? Nah... Actually, I think I will come! Okay, guys, I'm going back in now. Beat you again tomorrow? Yeah, well, I've got other stuff on my mind right now. Yeah, like little blue men. Let's hope you don't see any more of them. Shut up, Ricky. Psst. Hmm? Psst. Over here, man. Is that you, Ricky? No. But I gotta, like, rap with you about something. Okay, I'm coming through. Wait. Before you come through, just promise me one thing. Promise you won't freak out, okay? Okay, okay, I promise I'm not gonna freak out. Okay, then. Come on through, man. Oh, good grief. It, it's... it's you. Ta-da! Like, okay, whatever. I'm going crazy, I'm going crazy! Hold on. I'm not going crazy. Weird stuff like this always happens. I should be used to this. Oh, hey, like, welcome back. You said he wouldn't freak, man. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. I haven't been feeling myself lately. But who are you and what are you doing here? My name? That's not important. But listen, I gotta lay something on you. It's pretty heavy, man. I have to tell you about this planet you're going to. Um, uh, what about it? Wait, how do you know? I did a little snooping around. Wasn't too hard to put two and two together, but that really doesn't matter, though. The thing is, you must not go to this planet. It's totally not what you think. You sure? It looked nice enough. That's just how it looks on the outside, man. If you went there, there's no way you'd survive. The inner atmosphere is pure acid, and the surface is all volcanoes and stuff. 
I gotta speak to your captain or whoever's steering this crate. But I think they're on some kind of pre-programmed flight or something. I don't think there is anyone driving these ships. Oh, bummer. So what are we supposed to do? Turn around? Go back to Earth? Ooh, man, I hoped you wouldn't bring that up. Uh, something wrong? The Earth is gone. Gone? Like, totally gone. What do you mean it's gone? Someone didn't steal it, did they? Well, no, but there was this war, see, and it was so bad it blew the whole planet up. Total devastation, man. Check this out. And gave birth to five beautiful children. In lighter news, planet Earth was destroyed today when global nuclear war broke out. It is believed that global war has occurred on this planet twice before, but never to this magnitude. Also, just before the disaster, four massive ships were spotted leaving the planet, maybe saving their best and brightest. As of yet, though, we have no idea who or what is aboard. Good thing you left when you did. I could take you there myself if you still don't believe me. No, that's okay. I believe you. I'm so desperate for something interesting to happen right now that I'll believe anything. I still don't quite get you, though. What's with this help? I'm a star kid, man. Keeping other people out of trouble is like what I do. Oh, and our space station is in the path of your ships. Mm, okay, but how did you get here anyway? There's a ship I have access to. No, I mean, how did you get on board? Oh, that. I'll show you if we go to that place where you and your girlfriend saw me. She's not my girlfriend, we're just... Friends, that's all. Yeah, right. Sure you are. She didn't even see you, and now everybody thinks I'm nuts. Why did you keep hiding from her? Mm, just thought it was kind of funny. Seriously, though, the Earth is gone, and that new planet is, like, way too hostile. Okay, well, I guess we could go to the observation deck, but... But? Well, it's just... Well, you know. No, I don't know. You look... Well... You know, kind of weird. No offense. Oh, no problemo. Uh, okay then. Gotta say, this is one awesome ship you got here. Actually, this isn't mine. I'm just a passenger here. Oh, right. Still makes mine look like a toy. Well, actually, it's my sister's ship, but she let me use it. Didn't you say you have your own ship? I don't see any other ship out there. It's not huge like yours, but you should be able to see it through a telescope. I hate to tell you this, but I think it's been hit by an asteroid or something. It's a total wreck. Uh, no, that was me. I kind of made a mistake and didn't land good. Okay, okay, so I crashed it. Red said he'd try and fix whatever he could while I'm away out here. Red? Ow! Oh! Oh, you haven't met him yet. Here, I got a picture somewhere. Oh, wow, she is hot. No, oh, that's my sister. Oh, he's adorable. Oh, I gotta go. Mum got me this pager because she never knows where I am when she wants me. Says I'm late for dinner. Thought she'd already know where I am since I spend so much time up here anyway. Yeah, I'd better get back too. See you tomorrow? Oh, wait. Just before you go, um, weren't you gonna show me how you got in here? Oh yeah, that's easy. I can do this. Forgot you wouldn't hear me out there. That was still pretty cool. Uh, what did you actually do? 
I just turned myself into light. That way I can go through windows and stuff like that. Can you do that with, um, things that aren't transparent? Like, um, that wall? You know what? I've never tried that. I'll do that right now. Ugh. Well, that didn't work. You okay? Yep. Nothing hurt except my pride, man. See you tomorrow. All right, all right, I'm coming. So, he thinks he's going to save the human race, does he? Well, we'll see about that. So, um, yeah, there you go. I know this episode has been a long time coming. It's been delayed a lot longer than I'm really comfortable with, but, you know, complications and stuff like that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this because I really want to make more of these. As you could probably tell from the way this episode ended, it leaves it open to, you know, future episodes. Only trouble is, I've come up with, uh, I mean, I've come out... I mean, I've stumbled into a little bit of writer's block and I really just just don't, just don't really have any ideas for what's going to happen next, so... I mean, yeah, I've still got a few ideas, such as the ship still going to that planet and everybody getting rescued at the last second while it dissolves in the planet's atmosphere. And, um, yeah, I want to do something with the bad guy as well, but just haven't really come up with anything to do with him, so... Yeah, I mean, I'm open to any suggestions you might have. Because, you know, I want to keep this series going for at least a few more episodes. And Call Do Clem's Electronic Workshop is still going to have a place here. It's been a bit quiet in the workshop lately just because I haven't really had anything to do videos about. So, if I do find video, you know, something to make a Call Do Clem's Electronic Workshop video about, you know, then I will make a new episode, where, you know... Cool dude claims electronic workshop when that happens. Anyway, losing my train of thought now. I've got some other things to get on with, so until next time, goodbye.